this is going to be lesson uh, 6.7 uh, we're going to be talking about similar figures here okay similar figures like for example you look at these two triangles here you can see that this is a, a triangle and this is a triangle i mean we know for sure that they are not equivalent so they're not you know con congruent in this way so uh, we know that they are they could be similar i mean how we would know there is rules that we have to follow to, to find out if those two triangles are similar uh, angles must be equal so for example the angle here a has to be equal to the angle a prime and b the same thing b b prime and c and c prime they have to be equal to each other for two two triangles to be similar they have to have the same angles side when you talk about sides here for example look at the side a b and the side a prime a b prime you can see for sure that they're not equal to each other but now what's going to make them be similar they have to be proportional right so for example if i enlarge this figure here a prime b prime c prime and if it does exactly matches with the with a and and b c that means that those are similar so we're going to talk about proportions okay so for example if this side is twice as big as this side this one has to be also twice as big as this side and this one has to be twice as big as as this side so that's how similar figures are okay so that's section 6.7 so we're going to be doing uh, examples on them in class we could see that here's uh, another example they could show you the one in, in uh, let's say in red here or orange and is it similar to this shape here so notice that the, the rotation is not important is the idea the most, most most important things are the angles angles they have to match they have to match so you cannot for example if the angle here is 120 this one the, the a prime uh, one for example which is they're not using a primes here except you know when they wanted to do the examples you can see that this one has to be an also 120 so you cannot have two uh, two different uh, angles here the same thing look at this shape here so you can see that you know if i look at for example this one here the 27 27 12 12 18 8 so we need to do the proportions here and if they if they do add up or, or they come up with the same factor as a, the proportional factor that means they are equal okay to each other or similar to each other sorry okay now let's go to uh, the next section which is uh, about transversal lines uh, i'll show you here so we'll go from here to 6.8 i think let's see all right 6.8 yes 6.8 is about uh, angles lines and transversal lines transversal lines I'll, I'll show you what does it mean because maybe this is a new terminology that you have never saw before so and uh, for example yeah you could see this one here for example so you look at those two lines here line r line s you have a line that cuts them and the t here is a transversal line because uh, that's the definition of it so it's a it's a line that intersects two or more lines uh, at the different points so this line, that's a transversal line because it cuts two or more, okay? Uh, S cannot be a transversal line. F cannot be a transversal line because it only cuts one line. But T, because it cuts two or more, remember, that means it's a transversal line. Now, there's rules that we're going to be following about the, the angles. The, that's what we can be learning. Uh, for example, line angle one is equal to angle three, two to equal to four, four is equal to eight, three equal to seven so we're going to be doing this this is going to take us a couple of days because there's a lot of rules here uh, so we need to do same side interior alternate interior external um, inter external uh, angles uh, we have also uh, corresponding angles so, so we have a lot of rules that we have to follow uh, in this section okay guys so we'll uh, do this it's going to be more fun by the way it's, you're going to enjoy this one when we do it in class all right Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.